All right, guys, this is Jason with Ridge Runner Blades. I'm here with the one and only, the only, I'm 100% sure the world couldn't take another, Josh Morgan and <laughs> Mr. Kyle Teffers. Yeah. And uh, they are here uh, with some awesome new stuff, a lot of new stuff that's coming to the store. Uh, we are we sell probably more Primitive Woodsman and Tepfer than anything. It's a lot. So I'm super excited about the new stuff that you got going on. I've already bought, I, I bought, I was the first purchase a blade show here. <laughs> yeah, you were. And so um, I'm super excited about the new stuff, but can we start off by talking about the new ax? Oh, yeah. I think that's Let's like, about it. it's huge. Tell us about it. Cool. So this is my new design I'm calling the Rum Runner. Uh, it's inspired by uh, boarding axes that you would find on a boat that would be floating in the Caribbean during the height of uh, piracy and things of that nature. Uh, it's got this really nice aggressive kind of upsweep and a real big spike for poking holes in things, smashing through stuff. They were using that as a breaching tool at the time. It's got a nice thick 3 8 head with a tapered tang. So you got a really nice balance and a good amount of heft in that head. Um, and all together, it's just a nice compact package and you can do a whole lot with that, that tool. Yeah, it's super awesome. Let's talk about the sheath real quick. Cause I think the sheath is such a good, and we can look at the Manus too, because too, the, the Manus has got a sheath upgrade as well that I'm super excited about. Yeah, well, I mean, this Kydex is getting more and more popular and um, it really is the most versatile way to carry a full tang ax like this. Um, I'll show you, cause it just kind of slides up in here and you've got a bungee retention. And what this allows you to do is access this ax with one hand. If this was on your belt, you can pop that bungee and then just pull the, pull the ax free. And now you've got, do what you need to do with it. And uh, it carries it really securely. Um, it can be lashed to multiple things, attached in a lot of different ways, and you don't lose your sheath. You know, I've traditionally just done ax, ax masks in the past, but the problem with those is you take it off and you set it down and you walk away from it and you forget where you put it or whatever. And this just is a nice, nice way to package this up. And the Mantis has got the same sheath upgrade. So it's just a new style sheath. Yeah, uh, I think it's pretty awesome. It's, it's super handy. I mean, we're not the first people to do this. Obviously, there's been sheaths like this around for a while, but it was about time to adapt that to, to these products. So I see a couple new knife models on the table. Now, is this stuff here that's going to stay, or is this just exclusive for Blade Show? Um, no, so this is a new thing that I've been working on. Uh, it's a Brute to Forge version. You can see that there's a lot of similarity to the, the Buffalo Cove Bushcrafter, and that's because this started originally as a Buffalo Cove Bushcrafter. Um, I had a lot of water jet cuts go poorly, and they were out of spec, and rather than just scrap all of that, we came up with a way to use that material. So you can see just side by side, you look at a, bu a bushcrafter, there's that hole there. We forge welded uh, a plug into the hole uh, and then we can forge that blade out. I use an induction forge and that really isolates the heat to the blade section, maintains the continuity of the handle, but allows me to have some fun and play with different shapes um, depending on what, I, what, I, what application I wanna make that knife for. So you'll definitely be seeing more of these Brutus Forge styled knives. I've got a pile of of those water jet cuts. And once we go out, out of those, we'll probably just start making them specifically this way because it's a lot of fun. It lets me swing a hammer, which I really enjoy doing, um, and do it at an effective price point where I can put knives in people's hands that have all of this really cool forged texture and character, you know, at a more reasonable price. So you'll definitely be seeing a lot more of these Brutus st Forge styled blades in the future. This thing is probably one of my favorites that I've seen uh, today. Is this something, um, is this a new model? What, we, what do we have going on? So kind of similar thing? Similar idea to this knife, but rather than starting from a Buffalo Cove Bushcrafter, we've actually started from something that looked like an EDC. So similar idea, continuity of the handle is there, um, but I can play around with the blade shape and the blade style and incorporate that nice forged texture. So on this one I kind of made as an all-purpose uh, utility kind of skinner. Um, and I really, really like this blade shape, and I think we're, we'll definitely be doing more of these. Yeah, I'm super excited. Super excited. Well, Josh, I really appreciate it, man. Yeah. Has it been a good show so far? Oh, it's been awesome. First year blade show at the table, and uh, couldn't couldn't have it gone any better. So. And Kyle, what's your favorite person you've seen so far? My favorite what? What's the, the person? Uh, Jason. Oh, me. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, we might edit that out. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for checking it out. We're going to have some of the new, what, what's it called? Rum Runner. The Rum Runners. So we're going to have the Rum Runners in stock soon. And uh, so check back. You might want to get on the list for that because they don't, stuff, stuff like that don't hang around long. So, all right, guys. Peace out. Appreciate you. Yeah.